cyberbullying, is that on the increase? Yes, it most definitely is. What uh, we have seen from research that we have done is that one out of every five teens in South Africa has expressed that they've actually experienced this. Um, now, cyberbullying, for those who might not know, it's uh, basically when one teen harasses, humiliates, torments or threatens another by the use of cell phone technology or internet technology. Mm -hmm. Now, this can include the sending of uh, offensive images, maybe setting up a false profile under someone else's name and then general harassment really. Now how can this program assist in fighting cyberbullying then? Well this uh, partnership if I can call it that is um, geared towards raising awareness of the fact that it does exist in South Africa um, It actually the mobile pen penetration in South Africa especially amongst children and young people is far higher than people suspect or think just because you live in a rural area doesn't mean you don't have access we actually found that 80% of, child of children in South Africa across the board either have access to a cell phone or they use one they have their own one so so to answer your question, we want parents, we want educators, schools to realize that this problem is real, the threat is out there, and ignorance is no longer an excuse. Mm -hmm. Awareness is a very broad term. How are you going to do that? What strategy have you got in place? Well, what we are doing at the moment is we have been going around to different uh, uh, schools, having workshops, finding out more what parents want to know, what children already know. Um, I think what would be interesting to point out is that parents need to understand that their children are more resilient than they think. It's not that children don't know what the risks are. It's not that they don't know how to mitigate them. The question is rather, are they doing it? You know, are they doing what they can to protect themselves? Mm -hmm. So. For now, I think our focus is mainly speaking to teachers, to educators, to schools, to parents to make sure that they know what the deal is, if I can use the young mm -hmm. people's term. Now, how will this partnership strengthen that fight against cyberbullying? And, of course, a very important thing, child pornography on the Internet. Now, I can't necessarily comment on child pornography. That is uh, the South African police. They have been, you know, working very hard to curb that. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to cyberbullying specifically, um, a partner like Google, for, for example, or Parents Corner, um, they are very strong in the online sphere to when it comes to telling parents what mm -hmm. to do. Um, with Google, for example, with UNICEF, um, they have a, a, a child safety portal where parents can also get more, more information. So I think with the internet and us using the internet, we need to make sure that the technologies that are out there, the platforms that are being used, that we channel parents to those channels, parents and communicators. Now, who should take responsibility? Is it only the parents? Most definitely not. I'm very glad mm -hmm. you asked that question. Um, the responsibility stretches far further than the household. It um, should actually be shared between educators, between parents and the children themselves. Uh, the reason for this being that children's access to technology stretches into every environment where they might find themselves. So in other words, what we want to see ultimately is where parents and teachers, where there's a feedback relationship, where teachers can communicate to parents look we have concerns about your child and the other way around and then also where there's positive response and feedback where you know there's not a door shut in the face of one or the other and then um, as you were saying the parents yes they have a strong re responsibility and I think we can touch on that now but it is very important for parents to know what their children are getting up to. It's the ultimate responsibility really with the parents you either take away the phone or you ensure that there are measures in place to track your child. What advice would you give to parents? Once again, I'm very glad you asked that question because you raise a very important point. Um, UNICEF, we're not, we're, I'm not saying that the phones should be done away with or that the laptop should be done away with. The advantages of technology far outweighs the disadvantages, as I'm sure you know. I mean, we have education opportunities. We have develop, development opportunities. Uh, the technology is, has just become the tool of this. Mm -hmm. So what we would advise then is for parents to have an open channel of communication with the children. Taking the technology away is not taking the problem away. I mean, it'll still be You're out there. probably increasing it. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. We all know what, chil what children are like. If you say no, then they will, you know, be encouraged to actually pursue whatever you discouraged. Mm -hmm. So what we would ultimately like to see is for that open channel of communication to be there, for parents to educate themselves 
I mean, these are days pretty much anyone can use Google. They know how it works. If you don't know, then we suggest you go to teachers, maybe start up a discussion group at the school, you know, a parents group with teachers to discuss what can be done. But ultimately, we want to emphasize that it is important that your child knows that he or she can come to you should anything happen. There is no shame. There shouldn't be fear. They must be able to come to you as a parent. So people that want more information, where can they get that type of information? Well, people can visit our website, mm -hmm. um, unicef.org. People can uh, also access Parents Corner, which mm -hmm. is a fantastic resource. And then Google SA um, has a safety portal that they can mm -hmm. also visit. And then any number of our partners who deal specifically with online safety issues. Emma, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. That was Emma de Villiers, Communications Specialist at UNICEF. Thank you so much for joining us.